from Blanca's Travels. I am uh, going to be jumping on today as a guest host. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about some ninja tips for our digital nomading that we do. So uh, we, we've traveled the world for the last um, about eight years, uh, visited about 45 different countries, and really kind of experienced what life is like on the road um, for the course of four to six months a year. So we've really gotten to see Europe and some of Asia and South America and Central America and really had a really great time, and we still have a couple more years of uh, some travel. And I wanted to come off and, and uh, do a little tip on some um, tools that we use in our travels. And one of the tools that, brand new to us, um, probably over the last course of the last year, has totally changed the way that we plan our trips. And what it is is a website called Rome to Rio. So Rome to Rio is a search engine um, where you would search between two different places. So think of it such as a kayak or a, um, an Expedia. But the difference with this um, that I would say is a game changer is that it doesn't just do flight searches and it doesn't just do car searches. It'll also do ferries, boats, um, uh, different cruise lines, train lines, and it'll give you pricing. So if you're trying to get from two points that you really don't know of and you want to get to there, you can look at it and give you different choices. And let me give you an example. So we're getting ready to take a trip from um, Split Italy. I'm sorry, Split Croatia. Okay. And we're going to go to Venice, okay, which we're going to be on. So we're going to be in the Dalmatian coast for a little while. It should be a real fun trip. And so I put I input it into Rome to Rio, and it gives me kind of di a direct flight. So it says, so here's our first choice, flights. So flights are around, and you can change pricing and uh, specifically to what you need. So I'm going to be doing this in August, so let's say August 1st, and I just need a one-way. Um, so here we go. It says it's going to be a 4 hours and 10 minutes to get from Split to Venice if I fly. But maybe I don't want to fly. Maybe I want to look at some other choices because I'm kind of a little bit more adventurous. Um, let's see what a bus would look like. So a bus would bring us straight through the Dalmatian coast, all up through Istria, through Slovenia, straight down into Venice. Very cool. Uh, nine hours. And it gives you the bus line that you would take. Very cool. And this is bus to a train. So you see that you're going to take that over here at, at, at Tresede and you would jump onto a train and that would bring you the last two hours in the thing. Let's see what would happen if we do a car and a ferry. So here we go, we would go from Split to Ancona and we cross over and then from Ancona, we would have to either, we would take a train to Bologna and then up to Venice. So isn't that kind of cool, kind of gives you a bunch of different choices and so you can mix and match. So what we decided to do was we said, well, we actually got to get to Venice, but I wanted to go kind of a water route so we're going to drive up and we're going to go through Zadar, which cool little town, you should check it out. A lot of old Roman ruins. And we're going to go to Pula, and from Pula we're going to take a boat. So what I said is, how do we get from Split to Pula first? Let's do that, Split to Pula. There's this amazing amphitheater over there that you have to check out. And in Istria is one of the most beautiful parts of Croatia. I'm, I'm totally in love with it and I can't wait to go. So here we go, so from split from the water, so we're gonna go follow the road, and it's gonna be an eight hour drive. It's a little long for us, so I think I'm gonna do, we're gonna figure out a place to stop in between, and so maybe that'll be Zadar. We'll stop at Zadar, we'll spend some time, maybe a day or two, and then go up to Rijeka, maybe stop for a day, and then go to Pula. But from Pula, let's see if there's, there's a way from Pula to get to Venice. Okay, Pula, Croatia, to Venice, Italy. And they're really good th throughout most of Europe. And so look at that, perfect, there's, there's a boat. And so the boat, and it even says where the boat's gonna be. Right here, it's a ferry. And so you, you, can be, you can be able to go and find more information on the exact ferry. Here's a picture of the ferry, the boat. No, it doesn't look beautiful, but it looks like it'll be fine. Let's see, how long was that ferry ride for? Ferry ride, it was $30, uh, three hours, um, four hours almost. I actually took a look uh, uh, on the actual site for the ferry line. They're estimating 80 bucks. Um, in total, the ferry costs for two people 140, so 70 bucks. So this is actually estimated a little bit high, but it's almost exact. So it gives you a really great idea. Plus, this will link out to the ferry line, so you'll be able to figure out, okay, this is the line, and you just set it up. Another cool thing this does is it'll show you that the ferry doesn't run on every day of the week. It'll only run. I think this ferry only runs Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you're, you're trying to travel on a day that the ferry is not there, it won't come up in the search. So that's Rome to Rio, love it. Um, I use this with my spreadsheets and I just kind of plan out all the trips 
And so we'll say, I'm going to go to Pula, then Pula to Venice, and Venice to Strasbourg, and Strasbourg to, to, to Paris, and Paris home, or whatnot. And you just do that with, with Rome to Rio, plan it out, throw it into a spreadsheet, and add Airbnb, and you have your accommodations, and suddenly you have a really great trip ahead of you. I hope this helps, and I hope you guys check out Rome to Rio. It's free, and it's a really cool tool. Thanks, guys.